Once a capitalist, always a capitalist. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to 60 Seconds, a nuclear apocalypse simulator. It's largely text-based, but I have a lot of fun, it has a dark sense of humor. Uh, we're gonna start a new game, we're gonna survive the apocalypse, uh, but probably not because we're gonna try and do this on hard mode. Because that's, that's how you have a good time, right? Right? Good time? Yeah, good time. Mm. Med kit for all injuries. So you're going to have this little point in the house. Kind of sc scout out where things are. So, grab the gun. Grab the gun. Move, fat daughter. No room for fat daughter. Get water. Get flashlight. God damn, we fucked up. No! No! There's poison? We need poison! And wife! And, and, and board game, I guess. More fucking food, water! Need it! Do it! Oh god, we're not gonna be able to get fat daughter. I never get fat daughter. Uh, come on! Fat daughter, let's go! And I'll, I'll bring a soup too. I think that's it. Sorry, son! I love you! We'll make another one! <laughs> and I got my achievements! So here we are, in the shelter, me and the fam, and the rifle and the flashlight. <laughs> that's all I got, and a board game. We got to the shelter just in time. Good thing Mary Jane didn't bring her tuba. The fan noise down here is bad enough. Wait a second. Where's Timmy? Uh, shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Nobody gets to eat today. Ha ha ha. It's not easy to keep calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we'll keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves. Survivor of the fittest and all. Dude, the dad who is Ted, I will refer to as Ted from now on, he looks like shit after one day. He's gonna eat his family. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Everybody seems fine today. Uh, nobody gets to eat, though. Everybody wants to go out, but uh, it's only day two, so no. Be safe. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there, but that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. The neighborhood's probably pretty much more peaceful since the bombings. Yeah, except on a nuclear level. Please, please do not go outside until your humble narrator says it's okay. We can take care of ourselves. Mary Jane's thirsty. Dolores is thirsty. Everybody's fucking thirsty. Here. Just drink, okay? I worked so hard gathering all this stuff. Still irradiated. Going into the wasteland is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. We don't have a med kit. I'm not getting sick. As we are about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to pro provide them with any water, food, or medical supplies we could spare. I guess we could spare some food. Maybe. I guess. Now we're going to have more people knocking on the door. God damn it. And we're going to have to go on an expedition relatively soon. We've never seen anyone so touched by a simple gift. A few minutes later, those poor people were hugging us like there was no tomorrow, quite possibly, quite possible, actually, <laughs> and thanking us for the gesture. They were eager to repay us, and one of their group offered us a map of the local area. Ooh! They claimed it helped them get there, so it brought luck upon whoever used it. We promised to give it a try and wish them a safe journey. It's always better when things are calm. Wonderful. So we got a map? in exchange for our can, even though we couldn't really afford it. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna send Mary Jane out. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. We should probably try doing something about it with whatever we brought. Which was nothing! Hooray! <laughs> shoot! Shoot at it! We got the gun? You can bang it with a flashlight? It'd be good. Couldn't figure it out, so we just assumed that's what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decided to ignore it. 
We've been feeling a bit funny today, though. Probably no connection to the pipe. None whatsoever. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. Alright. Um, nobody's eating. You're going out, lady. Good luck, daughter. Try not to be ma raped and or murdered. Bring back something nice. Mary Jane went outside. Water is all Dolores wants. Oh, she fucking... <laughs> we sent her out dehydrated as fuck. <laughs> Something's missing. Let's see. Fan hum. Check. Strange noises on our pipes. Check. Hella yells outside. Check. Oh, Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. That's it, and it's really strange. Talking to her would be a good idea. Yes, wife. Why do you not make words, like always? <laughs> it's been a week. Only a week, and she hates me. Jesus. Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Everybody wants to eat? We got one can. Go on, get that. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they probably scared off any rats in the area. Bad news is they're huge and will probably attack us when they get the chance. We got a gun! Why can't they use gun on cockroach? It's as big as a cat. If you can't shoot a cat, you need some help. Look at these fucking bugs! Oh my god. Ah, uh, bad. Oh, that thing is huge! And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We all feel dirty. Dolores is feeling quite well. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nobody eats? What's that trickling sound? Why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preservers or a boat. A boat wouldn't even fit inside the shelter. We need to do something! Save the supplies! Get the map. It's all we got. Before any of the streams squirting from the walls could hit our map, we tore it down. It was the only thing to not get wet during our little flood. After the water level dropped, we started cleaning up. We might not finish before the next apocalypse hits. Everybody wants a drink? Have a little drink. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this situation, it's our government. <laughs> yeah, right. You can badmouth them all you want, but that means you're a naysayer. Ah, oh, Kami. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is like the 50s when people actually believed them. Uh, we're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so Uncle, S Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we and the IRS and then some jail time and also analyzed. Uh, never mind. The government people are coming, and we should keep our eyes and ears open for any sign from them. Hmm. <gasps> She's back! Hi, daughter! You made it! If there's one thing we need to do, it's use a radio on a regular basis to catch emergency broadcasts that might be transmitted to the area. It's either that or strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a lot more sane. Nothing made us more happier than the sight of Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. We found the ten-cent hotels in ruins, but there was plenty to look through. Pieces of furniture, suitcases, and other hotel supplies were scattered all over the place. The lobby was mostly destroyed, and barely anything could be found on the floor, except for one very hairy and very dead lumberjack. He had an axe in his hand. That's it. God damn it. She's hungry, got an illness, and she's tired. Um, well, eat up, I guess, woman. Uh... We're gonna go out again. You expect a nuclear explosion won't be enough to quench any petty arguments. When the future's not looking too pretty and all you see is naked walls, not much is necessary for an explosion. It happened. We started fighting like crazy. Yeah. I mean, it was a matter of time. We've gone too far. We can't go back. We stopped arguing, but for how long? Everybody's hungry. No, Mary Jane's hungry. Because she's sick. You need some soup because you're sick, huh? Father, go find food. You're much more equipped than the little girl to go. And you look like shit anyways. The wife is still just, like, uh, chilling out. She's all good. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Mary Jane keeps fading. We need to find her something to drink fast. Everybody get something to drink. And, uh, I guess, I guess take the food, women. Nurse yourselves to health! Which is weird, because usually nursing and women... Never mind. <laughs> it's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. But we don't have a radio. Sorry. I didn't get it, okay? I, I get freaked out in my 60 seconds. My family will fail because of it. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Uh, good. 
The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here, and it doesn't seem like it'll get any better for the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? Like put on a gas mask, or use some poison, or shoot ourselves in the head. We don't have any of those things. Sorry. How can you shoot yourself clean? That don't make no sense. Oh, wife looks like shit now. Mary Jane seems fine. Dolores came down with a sickness. <laughs> get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. If there's anyone... <laughs> It's like uh, Richard Cheese. Cut in some Richard Cheese, please. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. You mother, get up, come on, get down with the sickness. You fucker, get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Open up your hate and let it flow and fix me. We need to clean our mess or end up with a full infestation. Well, use the fucking gun. We got the gun. Why don't you use the gun? Oh, Dad's back. He found food! Dad! We have defeated the insidious roaches and driven them away. The nests are ours. That should teach them a lesson. Tess, Ted has returned from his voyage to the surface. What's that? Is it a big bird? Is it a stockbroker? Is it a bicycle repairman? No, it's the aid airdrop. That was an excellent time to leave the bunker in search of supplies. One of the food drops broke in midair, and now it's raining soup. Luckily for us, a few can't survive the fall. Some crates were filled with very weird stuff. Why did they drop a crate full of wa wa rubber ducks? At least one of the smaller crates had a few wa water bottles in it. Whoa, stuttering, stuttering. We forced one of the boxes open and found an impressive collection of stinky cheese and a gas mask. We discovered that eating with a gas mask on your face is not ideal. And since we value our lives and our noses, we decided to take the mask and leave the cheese behind. Our neighbors from another shelter gave us a radio. They said they found it in one of the drop crates, but they already had a working radio. Wonderful. Everybody's still ill. Um, but, but we got some stuff. Can anybody leave? We can send Dolores. You're the only one who hasn't gone, wife. We thought it'd be a great idea to have some role-playing fun and create our own shelter theater group. We called it Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it and decided that maybe it would be better to play something simpler thin shelter doors. Are they really that thin? Nice way to save five bucks at Home Depot, Ted. Oh, everybody's hacking up along in here. Gross. <clears throat> A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they captured a woman whose description matched Dolores. We don't think they'll let her go. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get an hour or two of sleep. No, luck. We're more tired than we were, and there are other problems we need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. When Mary Jane's sickness got worse, and we weren't able to provide her with medicines, she took side. It's time to cure whatever she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back since she never liked our town to begin with. We stopped arguing, but how? For how long? Uh, forever, I guess. She's gone. Your wife's gone. Fucking kid's gone. Oh, man. Those roaches are trying to communicate with us. Is it possible they're now our intellectual equals? Maybe we could turn them into a cheap labor force to survive our <laughs> support our survival effort. Once a capitalist, always a capitalist. Um, yeah. Well. He's gone nuts. This is my friend, Saki. This is insane. Why would we talk to roaches? Are we going insane? Are we? Ted has gone crazy. Been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stampeding up there. It would be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. Who should go outside? Nobody. Nobody can do it. We're gonna sit down here and die. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> a hunting excursion sounds way too risky. What if these an are not your average animals, but mutant spider lions, or worse? Ted has been sick for too long, and he was too weak to keep going. He passed away in his sleep. We didn't make it. These are our final words, and our advice to anyone who reads this is ex obscured writing. <laughs> but we did make it a month. I hope you guys will join me for the next episode. I hope we can make it uh, out of this place or somewhere. Instead of just dying. <laughs> I hope you guys will join me for the next time. There's a couple more game modes to go through. If you did enjoy, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. This has been 60 Seconds. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.